Alrighty everyone, my name is Mikhail 9 and welcome to Elden Ring. Um, as someone who has pretty much played a, a lot of the Dark Souls games, like the, the trilogy and as well as Sekiro, and somewhat recently played the Demon Souls remake, it was, these kind of games are just absolutely just amazing and patiently waiting for Elden Ring to come out and it's finally out on the 25th. <laughs> And I'm going to be playing this on PlayStation 5. Um, I did hear that the game doesn't necessarily run at at, the, at 60 FPS the whole time, but um, we'll be playing it on here regardless. And yeah, just really keen to play another from software title. Um, really enjoyed Sekiro when that came out. So anyway, I hope you guys will enjoy it. Um, we'll have a playlist on my YouTube channel that will keep getting updated every time I upload a new video. For Elden Ring, and if you haven't already, uh, consider subscribing to the channel to stay up to date on games such as this and any other games I'm playing at the moment. Uh, let's just jump into a new game, and we'll just we'll prioritize frame rate, even though both modes um, target sixty target sixty FPS for some reason, and we'll just get this cutscene going. Oh wait, never mind, we're going for. Passes already. No intro screen yet. Character creation already. Okay. Vagabond, warrior, hero, bandit, astrologer, prophet, samurai, prisoner, confessor, and wrench. Wretch. His stats. Okay. Interesting. We can actually see their different weapons that they'll be using too. They're both... Okay, I thought all of them were going to have like two, two weapons. Some of them do. Some of them have three or more. And the wretch starts with the club. <laughs> Most even out stats. Hmm. I think I was going. I think I'm, I'm thinking of um, astrologer in some way. Cause I've heard there's a lot of spells in the game. I might go for that. Prophet. More of a faith build. Prisoner is like... very weird. <laughs> Got some inter intelligence. Some dexterity there. And confesses like another type of faith build, essentially. I wouldn't mind the Vagabond, just go for the sword and shield combo. It's like a halberd type weapon as well. A two handed weapon. Very interesting. On for the samurai. <laughs> yeah, let's go with um astrologer. Body type. Um let's go type A. And we'll just name ourselves Mikael. Type A, Age. Age only affects appearance, has no bearing on ability. We'll go for mature age. I don't know. Keepsake. Crimson Amber Medallion. Increases maximum HP. Oh, interesting. Gold Grace. The land lands between Ruin. Rune. Gold of grace shining in the eyes of the people of the lands 
lands between used to gain many runes. Oh, this is like a Estus Flask upgrade. Imp Ashes. Fanged Imp. Is that like a summon? I think there's like summons in this game and I think that might be one of those. Cracked Pot. Like a, like a throw. Yeah, it's a throw item. Stone Sword Key. Break the seal on imp statues but can only be used once. Witching Branch. Okay, and then we got Boiled Prawn. <laughs> Boost physical damage negation. And then we got... Shabriri's <laughs> Low. Tracks enemies aggression. Oh, it's like that, um, that skull. Okay, uh, we'll go for... We don't have much vigor. The mage, of course, so you... You're like... It's runes though. I don't know. I don't know what the runes are. What do we want to go for the imp? Start off with some ink imps here, which can help us out. Let's do that. Paint imp ashes, and we'll make our character aristocrat, loner, northerner, seafarer, reed lancer. Crony, a draconian, night, night folk, 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 and a Newman. Stony face of the people of the ancient dragons. These are just like base templates, and we can just like we just make more with this. Change up the hairstyles and that. Let's go with... I don't know. <laughs> Let's go with like a... Let's be like a Viking... <laughs> Viking mage. <laughs> I don't know. But that's actually not... Not really fitting. Maybe we'll go for... Uh... Ah, that's... Let's go with... Just keep the northerner. We could change the color. Yeah, we could be red. <laughs> we could be red. Jesus Christ. Completely <laughs> burnt. Oh no. Sample. They're very similar. We'll go for mature voice too. <laughs> I don't know. Oh. Oh boy. Yeah, this, this is very like... I just want to get to like... Oh, here we go. Yeah. Look at those. S-trains. My goodness. They've done, they've done a good job here. You can go for like a... The Viking look. Oh yes, that <laughs> that's the best. <laughs> Let's go for this. Then we'll change the hair color to like something darker tone. Brown? Can't tell. Yeah, I guess that's brown enough. Root darkness? Jesus Christ. And you can put white hairs in too. I think that's fine. I think we'll change the, the, the beard. We'll make it more... Oh, that's too much. <laughs> that's, I think we go for this one. Yeah, so that will match the hair color. Now on the eyes. 
go for like a doesn't really matter <laughs> all this doesn't really matter at the end because you don't see it too much unless there's a photo mode tattoo and mark third eye Go for something like that. We might change it. Oh, actually, no. Let that that, that color's good. Eye patch. Oh my goodness. And then we could just be blindfolded. That's that's wonderful. <laughs> Cosmetics, eyeliner. Let's go with something like this. Alter body. No. No need for that. I think. I think that's... I think we're good with that. <laughs> 10 minutes spent <laughs> on character customization. Yeah, good stuff. <laughs> Alright, let's jump. Yes, I think I will play as the astrologer. Let's go for it. Fallen leaves tell a story. The great Elden Ring was shattered in our home across the fall. the Eternal is nowhere to be found. And in the night of the Black Knives, Godwin the Golden was first to perish. Soon, Marika's offspring, demigods all, claimed the shards of the Elden Ring. The mad taint of their newfound strength triggered the shattering. A war from which no lord arose. A war leading to abandonment by the greater will. Oh, rise now, ye tarnished, ye dead who yet live. The call of long lost grace speaks to us all. Chieftain of the Badlands, the ever brilliant Gold Mask. Fear the deathbed companion, the loathsome Dung Eater, and Sir Gideon of Mere, the All Knowing. Dung eater. And one another, <laughs> whom grace would again bless. 
a tarnished of no renown. Cross the fog to the lands between. To stand before the Elden Ring. And become the Elden Lord. And we've started already. That was a wonderful intro. Praise the Elden Ring. <laughs> Praise the Elden Ring. <laughs> Applaud message. <laughs> I applaud that. What's over here? It's like a dream. Ah, uh, Elden Ring. <laughs> I'm playing online, by the way. Oh, this is hilarious. Tarnished Weasoned Finger. Ooh. We start off with a short sword and an astrologer's staff, which is, I would assume, what we use for spells. We've got two spells on us, which is pretty cool. And we have a shield, and then we have those fanged imp ashes that we. Oh, the, the weasoned fingers used to write messages. Okay. Might as well just get through in his multiplayer system. Oh, you can do gestures depending on what thing you can do with the controller. Hopefully I don't do that mid-battle. <laughs> Are you ready? I am. I, I, I actually don't know if I'm ready or not, but let's go on. Oh. Was that capital of anticipation? Was that what it's called? <laughs> oh my goodness. This actually looks like awesome. Um. I think I'm gonna. Chuck down this, like, master volume down a little bit. Yeah, let's let's go with the seven. Oh, people have died already. <laughs> yeah, so it seems like... Treasure chest ahead. Yeah, bullshit. <laughs> this is why I don't really play online too much with these games, but... Oh, God. It's the same to switch weapons and stuff, which is pretty cool. I can feel the, the frame rate being a little bit... Um, what's it called? Camera controls, yep. I, yeah, so the... It doesn't feel like smooth 60 FPS. I know it's trying to run it at 60 FPS, but... Message, secret passage ahead. Oh. <laughs> I should ignore those for now. But yeah, um, hopefully that can get fixed in a patch. Um, I think the one of the ways that you can do it is if you run the PlayStation 4 version on PlayStation 5, and that's how you can get um, like a solid 60 FPS, but you, you lose out on image quality and some. Um, I think like, like grass density is like lowered, some shit like that. Um, plus you don't get access to those two modes. Quality and performance mode. Which is weird that both of them run at 60. Why is it always higher? <laughs> oh, look at that. Drusil. <laughs> Dragon Quest 11s is calling back to me. Wants me to play it again. <laughs> Unbelievable.
Oh, we're reversing a boss, aren't we? Oh! Oh! Jesus! Grafted Scion. I think that's how you pronounce that. What the... Glintstone Pebble and then Glintstone Arc. Oh, interesting. Oh, God. Oh, boy. I'm dead. I'm dead already. <laughs> now I think the screen has gone black damn I wanted to try new moves okay now we're at the beginning of Dark Souls 3 now Horse. Something similar. Something that resembles a horse. Don't worry, Torrent. Fortune is on his side. We found him here, after all. One of his kind is sure to seek the Elden Ring. Even if it does violate the Golden Order. Oh, the Golden Order. I wonder what that is. Sentence. I only had some healing at that first boss. Could have, could have sustained a little bit there. Too aggressive for me though. Wasn't even able to summon my imps. Maybe it's only certain bosses. There we go. Now we get healing. Flask of Crimson Tears. Oh, I found the jump button. <laughs> Ask of... Flask of... Illyrian? Illyrian tears? Is this a... wait a minute. Someone to talk to. Plunge. Oh god, this is very dark. Hopefully. Oh, you can bring back the HUD by pressing triangle. That's cool. Boy, I have to look at my other monitor. I have to look up my OBS to see a little bit more. Do I have a torch? No, I don't actually don't know. Item crafting, I didn't even realize. Oh, runes are souls. I think that's what that is now. Doesn't seem like I can get to that. That item up there. Just judging from, from that. Do anything with the tree. We can jump. Mantle? No mantling involved in this game. <laughs> no 
No, no metalin, that's okay. Let's see how it is. Do I want to jump down? There's another fog wall there. <laughs> Are you kidding me? down. There you go, we survived. No damage was done. Raise the jumping off. <laughs> Ooh. This is a bonfire. Sights of Grace. Resting at a side of Grace will restore your HP, FP, and cleanse any status ailments. Will also refill your sacred flasks. However, most of the enemies you've defeated will, will be revived. Very cool. <laughs> you can find Sights of Grace by doing by going where light converges. These explanations are required from the form of info items that can be accessed from the inventory at any time. Let there be light. Touch grace. Oh, you can pass the time. Memorize spell, sort chest. Building the chest. So we have two. The fires. The glintstone pebble fires magic projectiles from glintstone. And then the glintstone arc fires a horizontally widening magic arc. Cost more. Required more MP. Um, what's it called as well? Intelligence. Intelligence and increase the amount replenished by flasks. Use a sacred tier to increase the amount of HP and FP replenished by your flasks. Then you can allocate, much like in Dark Souls 3, I think. You can go 2 and 2 or 3 or 1. I think I'll just keep it as is. Use one gold seed to increase your number of flasks uses. Okay, cool. Let's just. Let's get out of this cave. Oh, an enemy. I'll oh, be dead. One shot. Very cool. Sorceries and incantations. Spells and incantations for those who want to buy. I forgot what Tolfdir says in, in in Skyrim. What's his? What does he say when you when you're trying to buy something from him? Something like spells and incantations. You can memorize sorceries and incantations are at sites of grace. You must have a staff equipped to cast sorceries or a sacred seal to equip. To cast incantations. Casting sorceries and incantations consume F FP. And we can switch it. Oh Jesus! Okay, I thought that guy like came back to life somehow. Guarding. R one, L one to guard. Ooh. Oh, cool. And we can dodge and backstep as well. It's a cool little arc shot there. Jump. And jump. Sick it all. Whoa! <laughs> of course those arrows are gonna be <laughs> homing onto us. Come down here. Never mind, I'm gonna kill you from above. <laughs> from below, sorry. Ooh, materials. In every corner of the lands between, you'll find fruits and flowers, mushrooms and butterflies, and various other useful materials. These materials can be used for item craft. Very cool. A row of flute. Fruit. 
Pronunciations are going mental. Each hand can be equipped with up to two, up to three armament, armaments, allowing you to toggle between them. Armaments can also be two-handed, making attacks more difficult to repel with shields and boosting effective strength 50%. How do I kick? <laughs> ah, he bloody got me there. Oops, just used it. The... Oh, there's the kick. Oh, what the hell? Tried to thrust. Too good. Very cool area. But then I went down here. Possibly going to get some pretty cool loot. Might be a boss at the end, who knows. Yep, we, we just learned about that. <laughs> just did it first hand. Skills. I can crouch. Crouch to make it harder for enemies to discover you, especially effective in tall grass. Attacking an enemy that hasn't noticed you will cause more damage than usual. Stealth. Very good. He is now dead. <laughs> what does this say? First off, gesturing. Critical hit. Oh, the backstab. Wonderful. What's in there? Read message. Try rolling. Yeah. <laughs> Just try and skip the whole area. Sneaking around. I'm, oh, I didn't even see this path on the left here. Stance breaking. Some attacks may break an enemy's stance, giving you a chance to perform a critical hit. Charge attacks and jump attacks may make it particularly easy to break an enemy's stance. Hold R2 to charge attack, R2 while jumping, jump attack. Oh, there we go. Broke his stance. Stakes of Marika. Upon dying, you'll be revived at the last site of grace that you visited. However, if there is a stake of Marika near where you died, you can choose to be revived there instead. Oh, cool. I'm gonna get my FP back up. First the mist. Soldier of Go Godric. 
Oh, okay. We got guard counter. You can perform a counter attack immediately after blocking an enemy attack. Guard counters can make it easy to break an enemy's stance. Try that out. Oh boy, Jesus. Never mind. Oh, the parry. <laughs> parry didn't work there. Well, he's dead. I was trying to do it. Didn't work out as intended. We can do that another time, perhaps. Well, easy first boss. Might as well just heal up. Now we move on. Now we're back up here. That's cool. Ah, we got a gesture for all, for all that. Oh, just press the map on accident. Oh, yep. This map's going to be massive, ain't it? Is that strength? Beckon. Strength. Jump for joy. <laughs> Rallying cry. And rest. Point forward. Yeah. <laughs> Love it. Right, let's roll down. Let's move forward. This is really cool. This is Nido. Nido's gonna be coming out of nowhere. Ooh. Let me rest. Stop flasks. I think we're good. Here's those imp. Stone sword key. I go that way yet. Like I can't even like activate the fog wall to go through. Has to be a different type. Interesting. I like how the HUD like goes away. Better cooperative multiplayer. Jolly cooperation. <laughs> Use tarnished bur burled finger to write a gold summon sign. Co cooperative multiplayer will begin once you have been summoned by a player from another world. You will take the role of an ally, and your objective is to defeat the area boss. Compass at the top of the screen indicates the direction of the summoner. Post fingers. Okay. Finger severa. Tarnished burled fingers. Oh my goodness, every time I see a ghost, I'm like, oh no. I tell me I'm getting... In here. What? <laughs> I shouldn't... I shouldn't follow these guides. It's an elevator up. Try lever. I have to try it though. <laughs> I have to try to do that. Alright, let's go up. This guy die? What the hell? Whoa! <laughs> What's happening there? <laughs> Shield dance. I love the shield dance. Ooh. Still no item. <laughs> Got an 
another door. Oh, there's blood. Did someone get summoned? How they died? Him grave. Some more of that fruit. There's just a, a I think that's a boss over there. What's this? Summoning pools. In each area you may find effigies of, of martyrs. These effigies are summoning pools. You can find it easy to summon other players at these locations as, as co-op and hostile summoning signs created with small effigies gathered at sun summoning pools. Okay. Cool. Probably touch that. Sight of grace here. Person there to talk to as well. Grace exists to guide the tarnished and lead lead them along the proper path. Even then, even now, some sites of grace retain that power. Their golden ray will guide you along the way. Dressed up here. Use your map to check your current position as well as the terrain and surrounding structures. You can update your map with new information by finding map fragments at Stalles along the road. You can also use the map to freely place beacons of light to serve as landmarks as you explore, much like in Breath of the Wild. A big cave of knowledge. Were we just there? I think we were just there, yeah. Stranger graveyard, that's... Oh, holy hell. Hello there. Oh yes. Tarnished, are we? Come to the lands between for the Elden Ring? Hmm? Yes. Of course you have. No <laughs> shame in it. Unfortunately for you, however, you are maidenless. Without guidance, without the strength of runes, and without an invitation to the round table hold, you are fated, it seems, to die in obscurity. Luckily for you, however, there is one shining ray of hope for even the maidenless, me, Vare. Take care to listen. Are you familiar with grace? The golden light that gives life to you tarnished. You may also behold its golden rays pointing in a particular direction at times. See that? That is the guidance of grace. A path that a tarnished must travel. Hmm. Indeed. Grace's guidance holds the answers. It will lead you tarnished to the path you are meant to follow, even if it leads you to your grave. Ugh. Grace's guidance will reveal the path forward, most certainly, to Castle Stormvale, over on the cliff, the home of the decrepit demigod, Godric. Drafted. It's time you set off, I should think, to Castle Stormvale on the cliff, where Grace would guide you if you seek the Elden Ring, maidenless as you are. 
It's time you took Carl. Okay, there we go. He's repeating dialogue now. Thank you. Person. All right. Out. <laughs> I'm gonna ch um the volume a little bit. Just put the master volume up. And also had to put the light on in real life because it was getting a little bit dark. <laughs> so. All right. Out. Birds. Like, this is gonna be full of stuff to do. Like, I'm I'm already seeing some, like, landmarks that I want to go. That cathedral. Going cathedral over there. There's, like, a... There's, of course, that boss. Or it seems like a boss. Up in, like, the ruins over there, too. Way over there tower there's a couple of towers here and of course that's probably that castle that, that I was talking about okay these birds oh oh it's like a little island holy hell this is so much and it's like a shipwreck over there too I wonder if we can get to that Like a smaller tree. Four toed foul foot. <laughs> okay, what is that? Is that like a. I would assume that's like a material. Yeah. Material used for crafting items. Even though I did see the, the grass, like. Shimmering. Still looks wonderful. Thin beast bones. I'm just killing everything. Still, <laughs> sliver of meat. Those scrolls. Wow. This is like Breath of the Wild all over again. I think it's that skull. Weird, like... Gargoyle creatures? What the hell are they? Like, bats? Ooh, flight. We got another... We got the wings of those... Eagles. Hunting birds. We do need to... We'll most likely need to get those materials for certain crafting. Let's find more of that. It's like a deer. Yeah, so you can see like the grass is like... That was like a weird load in there. Obviously, this can be done with, if a couple of patches come in, you know, be like improved, but you know, like, still looks wonderful. In beast bones. <laughs> Dead. Oh, I didn't drop anything. A little bit worried. Is that fuck that fucking guy? He's gonna one shot me. I bet ya. Gonna sneak around. Oh, if you jump, you get out of uh, crouch mode. Get out of sneak. I wanna go to this cathedral first. Oh, the side of grace. Should 
Church of Ellie. Strengthening armaments. At a smithing table, you can spend runes and smithing stone to strengthen your armaments. Somewhere in the lands between, you may meet a blacksmith who can make your armaments even stronger. Smithing stone. Cool. Oh, this isn't a. Oh, there's a side of grace over here. Probably want to sneak. That guy could come out of nowhere. <laughs> I love him just right on top of the bloody race there. And we can fast travel, which is awesome. Awesome thing. Throughout the map, you can instantly tra travel any sites of grace you've discovered. However, there are some dungeons and other areas where this cannot be done. Hello there. Who are you? You're tarnished. I can see it. But I can also see that you're not after my throat. Then why not purchase a little something? I am Kale, purveyor of fine goods. About Kale. I am of a nomadic people, selling wares as I travel. The land has been tainted by madness since the shattering of the Elden Ring. It's only tarnished like yourself, who keep things from drying up entirely. Let's say you're a very welcome customer. Hmm. Oh, recommendation? You know, if you can spare the rooms, you should buy yourself a crafting kit. A crafting kit allows you to make basic items on your own. Essential, really. If you intend to survive out here for any duration, the kit costs a bundle, and I admit I do take my cut. But the important thing is that you survive. Every custom accounts, after all. Indeed. Here's the shop selling chain armor, waypoint ruins. Selling some cookbooks. There's a crafting kit that's for 300 runes. This reveals co op and hostile summoning signs. Summoning signs, pretty interesting. Torch. Let's get that crafting kit. That'd be nice to get. Note imparting knowledge in brief. Flask of Wondrous Physique. Physique? <laughs> and then Waypoint Ruins. Interesting. How much money do we have left? 343. Okay. Let's get the, um... Get the Flask of w Wondrous Physique. Glad you took my warning to heart. You've made an excellent choice. You have a crafting kit. You can make various items from materials that you find. Select item crafting from the main menu to make items. You can learn craft more items by finding cookbooks. Sting. You will need cracked pots or other containers to craft certain items. You will not be able to make more of those items than you have containers. Container items will run out with use, but the containers themselves will remain. Interesting. So here's the item crafting menu. Fire pot. Roped fire pot. throw behind you. Bone darts. Okay. Grow raisins. On horseback. Feed the torrent to restore HP. Spoilers. <laughs> Spoilers. You gotta ride that horse. Stones with coloured lights when placed. Serving as a guide. So the rainbow stones. And then the that finger remedy. 
That's all we can kind of make for now. Might as well make those bone darts then. Okay. And... Chuck that in our equipment. do something risky. We're going to reverse that boss. I have a feeling I'm probably going to die, but we should be able to do it. Where is he? Where art thou? There he is. Miss. Oh, here we go. <laughs> Three Sentinel. Oh. <laughs> I pressed the button and it didn't work. It didn't do it. <laughs> Guess we'll see the loading. Oh, beautiful. Upon dying, you will be revived at the last site of grace that you visited. You will drop any ruins in your possession the site of your death. If you die again before reclaiming those ruins, they will be lost forever. The compass at the top of the screen indicates the direction of the lost ruins. I think the time of day has changed as well. There he is. That was hilarious. Yeah, okay. We'll just grab those and we'll just run out. And <laughs> oh, that was hilarious. Okay, I knew I was going to get one shot. I got one shot by the best attack. Probably follow the light, and then we can probably like go ahead and explore. Get a proper proper exploration. So that it is a little bit annoying that the game doesn't consistently run at sixty, but. So it's going on that way, towards the tree, essentially. Do you want to see? It's a... Oh, yeah, it's a material. Herba. Okay. What's this? Oh, it's just a skull. Or is this, like... Like a rock. Rock of bones. Let me jump. There we go. <laughs> Let me jump up there. Weird ass statue. Hello. What does this what does this sign say? Guide and gatekeep for those returning to the roots. Ooh. Hiding me towards it. Trina's Lily. I hope you're not leading me to a boss. If so, that is going to be...
Oh, a bunch of enemies here. Probably finding... They're trying to find something, perhaps. Here we go. Got some mushrooms, eh? Hey, that's pretty cool. I'm in rain. Oh, you heard me. Get out of here. Getting darker a little bit too. The atmosphere has changed a little bit. Very nice. Got another mushroom. Let's open this door. That's so cool. Stormfoot Catacombs. Rest at the site. Death means returning to the third tree. What well, assume that's that massive tree. Have patience until the time comes and the roots call to you. Be wary of ambush. See that this is like a someone to my left? I think I hear someone to my left. Hang on. Alright, let's, let's just... Oh, yep, there is. <laughs> Whoa! What are you? Oh, there's another one, I think. Oh, there is. Yep. Goodness, they have got some help. Holy hell. How did this guy die? This guy died. <laughs> he got he got pulped. Root resin. Created from the roots of the great tree, can also be found near trees on the surface. What's, what are they doing here, though? Very weird. A hidden path here. <laughs> Billy. Brave Glove Wart. Locked by some contraption, okay. Pretty cool. Summoning pool is now functional. See more of these gargoyle imp things. I was going to be free shots, kill him. Oh, there we go. Probably use my sword and shield a little bit more as well. 
Ray Violet. gets old. Those those summon like those those messages are just they just never get old. Oh yep. This is this some just fire. <laughs> Holy shit <laughs> Whoa Am I safe here? Oh, somebody was trying to kill me from behind. Oh, there's an item behind here. Partling paint. Hello. Oh my goodness. Mits a voice that says hello. Are these reusable? Oh yeah, they're re reusable. <laughs> Try attacking. Oh, cool. That gets rid of that. Thank you. Oh, I'm dead. I didn't make it in time. At least that other fire contraption is now destroyed. And thank god for those loading screens on next gen consoles. Far out. Don't need to go that way anymore. Did it just get brighter here? Hell? These have come back. At least one of them has. There's a, a samurai. Oh my goodness, there's an enemy here. Hang on the wall. Get out of here, that nonsense. I can get to there. Some gargoyles, so let's go. Let's go up the ladder and go quick, holding the circle. Where we've left. Yep. Broken. Got him. Whoa! You sir. Damn, motherfucker. <laughs> I like this music. Like ambient music. You almost hit me with that throwing knife. Oh god, he's gonna bleed me to death. Ah! <laughs> yep. Yep. Got a little bit cocky there. A little bit cocky. Oh, 
Wow, that was an interesting way for that enemy to die. I just used a little bit more mana there on accident. Ah, uh, it's good to, to be back playing this type of type of experience. <laughs> oh, I love it. Okay, I won't go now. Oh wait, whoops. What about you? Drop something there. Oof, we got me good there. Oh, there's a number one. He's gonna. Oh boy! Ah, he got me! I didn't get my souls back. Fuck! Wow, my shield is terrible! <laughs> How much does it block? Fifty-eight percent. Yeah, that's like, whole, like holy hell. I feel like those, those like shots will hit the wall. Be disappointed. I'm gonna bet you again. One more than I did, than I needed. It's okay. Summoning spirits. For spirit calling bell, you can use ashes ashes to summon various spirits. Summoning's typical typically consumes MFP. You can also you can only summon one type of spirit at, at any time. At a time. You cannot summon spirits during multiplayer. Wandering noble ashes. Wait, do we even have that bell? I think we do. 
Now we have two types of summons. Let me re re restructure this. We don't have to go up here. Look down. The lever. There's an, there's an enemy over here. <laughs> I think I didn't notice here. And that opened that door. open that door I'm gonna go back up here rest Quick to rest up in this game. to take care of this. This place safe. Of course there's two of them. Just had enough mana for both of them. And there's two more here. Two more here. There's enough, there's enough one up on the wall. All right. Smoldering butterfly. Material used for crafting items found near wildfires everywhere. So that's done. Pretty much most of the dungeon complete already. Died a few times, that's okay though. <laughs> Make our way back to the... Up on fire again. boss a tree burial watchdog oh 
Jesus, you attack so quick. Oh my goodness. Wow, you attack so weird. Oh my god, that is freaky. I'm trying to do gestures with my controller, it's not working. <laughs> oh. I may have to... No, it's not... Why is it not working? Did I have it... Do I have it off? <laughs> do I have it off? <laughs> no, it is on. I'm like fucking freaking... Freaking out. Trying with the controller. <laughs> Hang on. Let's just... Let's just bow for that one. Yeah. And we've got some fucking weird thing going back here. Is this the L tree thing? Return to entrance. Fingers head. <laughs> oh, this is freaky. That was a freaky fight. Is it way the way it moved? It was like. It didn't move like a human. It's like a like a puppet. It's like being controlled. Ventriloquist. Now we've got a, yet another new summon. Summon noble sorcerer spirit. So that's summons one person. It seems. Doesn't cost that much F FPE. Compared to the other two. It's only summoning one, which is understandable, so. Alright, let's return to the entrance. Oh, that was cool. Okay. I didn't even see that way back there. Massive statue. Unless that was of the um little ruined fragments, okay. Oh that's where we, we came from, I think. That's what where, where we started. Some egg. It's the eggs here. Did not drop anything. Oh God. Weird fucking mosquito things. Alright, time to run. Tortoise. Turtle. <laughs> oh god, it's still chasing after me.
Where's it going? Where's it going? Where's it going? Keep going, mate. It's too after me. Alright, I'm running. Running back to camp. All right. <laughs> Wait, did you sell the bell? Wait, weren't you? Well, you're back. Care to buy something? Yes. Well, this shield's better. His pots would be good too. Let's buy three of those pots and then we'll buy that. We'll buy maybe one of the, the cookbooks that we can get. Yeah, we'll get that one. Let's, let's buy two. Yeah, I don't want to spend too much money, but we'll get that waypoint ruins thing. Goodbye. Nice to do business. More goods. Make cured meat. Low stone, some arrows, bolts. Flask of Wondrous Physic. Still remains in the third church of Marika, north of the Mistwood. Crossing the highway bridge, follow the animal trail north. Someone lurks among the waypoint ruins on the roads through, through Limgrove. Okay. Interesting. Take care of that. I'm gonna, do you want to want to continue on? I think I shall. Let's, let's head to, in the direction of the the light. It's guiding me. Enemy here over here? It might be. Of a cave. Of a dungeon, perhaps. Whoa, almost one shot. Up oh, that boar died in one shot. Ooh. Damn son. Let's go in here. Groveside Cave. Ooh, okay. You know what? You know what I need. I need a, I need a torch. <laughs>
game's telling me to go straight ahead. I think it's telling me to go to this, like, off over here, but I do want to go to... Roveside Cave. Wait. Well, you're back. Yes, I'll buy the torch. Thank you very much. Goodbye. And I'll be put on my right hands. Is that a bear with a sword? What the hell? <laughs> Good luck. Now we can see. Some wolves up ahead. There is some light. Four wolves. Just jumping up and down. Shoot. Cave moss, another crafting material. I'm really liking these types of dungeons, I love it. Another wolf over there. He's dead. Oh, that guy's chill trying to get get to me. <laughs> Interesting. You heard me. Okay. Good. Hello, Cleon is stamina. <laughs> yes. I'm <laughs> applauding that message. <laughs> Likely sleep. Oh, that is good. There's a bunch of items here. One over this way. Oh, cracked pot. Very cool. Glowstone. Golden rune. Is that the gain souls? Yeah, that's the gain some runes. Silver fireflies. Sing. A couple of them there. Good for you, not a couple. That's only two if it was a couple. <laughs> many. <laughs> it was many. Oh, this looks like a short one. Okay. It doesn't seem like there's anything else around here. I do want to, do want to heal because I did take a little bit of damage. So, right, traverse the mist, beastman of Barum Azula. Hello. Whoa. Okay. Oh, he got me there. Oh, Jesus! That was a little bit of delay on that attack. Yeah. 
They heal again. Let's try the parry him. Shield broke. Swinging around like a mouse. Freak. Missed a couple there. Have to go full on melee now. Ah, he got me. Yeah. A little bit too cocky at the end there. Ooh. Don't have to fight all those wolves, I don't think. Does this game have a photo mode? No, it doesn't. Damn. Yeah. Does not have a photo mode. I was gonna say, like, it would be. Not seeing it here. Oh. I'll sneak our way back in. Did the wrong move there. It's all right. It's easy to get back. Already starting off with that. Jesus Christ. Ooh. Okay, so the pebble does more damage than the arc. Oh boy. Oh Jesus Christ. There we go. That was a bit scary. Flame Drake Talisman. Ooh, okay. Is that like an equipable thing? But it is. Boost fire damage negation. Equip load goes up a little bit, but. We can make our way back as well. Alright, this is... We'll return to the entrance. I think what I'll do is we'll fast travel back to... the church. I think we'll end the session off there. So.
Now, this has been really good. <laughs> this has been really good so far. Enjoyed this. Quite a bit. Some deaths, that's okay. <laughs> that's that's part of the experience. <laughs> Got this as well. <laughs> but yeah, um, this has been really good so far. Um, I honestly can't wait to play more of this. And yeah, like this is just, it's been fun. It's cool to explore. I don't have any map markers anywhere. <laughs> Very nice. Um, but yeah, this has just been pretty fun to do. And I can't wait to play more of it. So anyway, hope you guys will enjoy it. I've enjoyed this this session of Elden Ring. Hope you guys enjoyed it that. Um, if you want to see the other episodes I, don't, I do for the series, you can check it out by playlist on the right side of the screen. On the left side of the screen, a playlist of other games I'm playing in the past or currently playing at the moment. Um, as with currently playing at the moment, I am currently playing through Jin Megami Tensei 5. I'm pretty much right at the tail end of the game, so you know, the completion. Um, so if you want, if you're interested in that, you can go ahead and check that out. If you haven't already, I uh, consider subscribing to the channel. To stay up to date on games such as this, any other, any other games I'm playing at the moment. Anyway, thank you everyone so much for watching this. Hope you guys enjoyed it. See you guys next time. Goodbye.